In September, Cathedral and Holyoke Catholic High Schools will officially merge into Pope Francis High School in Chicopee. Students will temporarily be at this location for two years while the new Pope Francis building is being constructed in Springfield. Over the last several months, much has been going on behind the scenes to ensure that timetables on both fronts are being kept on schedule. Steve Kiltonic tells us now about the latest developments at the school. The official opening of Pope Francis High School is two and a half years away, but the work behind the scenes to consolidate the student bodies of Coyo Catholic and Cathedral High Schools has been ongoing. A key component in the planning of the future of Pope Francis in Springfield and the two-year temporary campus at Holyoke Catholic in Chicopee has been the Transitional Advisory Council, or TAC. Paul Gagliaducci approached Bishop Mitchell Rosansky with the idea for an advisory group when the Pope Francis project was first announced last June. I said to the bishop that we needed to uh, put together sort of a temporary board of trustees, a group that I could go to with specific ideas or issues and either they could provide some recommendations for me or they could in themselves take on the task to get the job done. The 15 members of the TAC are comprised of former members of the Cathedral and Holyoke Catholic Board of Directors, alumni, business and education leaders, parents, teachers, and women religious. Jim Tortolot, a longtime advocate of parochial education in the diocese, heads the group. The TAC has been hard at work on a number of important developments for Pope Francis. One is a new school model, which will make Pope Francis a true regional school. We would uh, include boundaries that are not only both of the former jurisdictions of Cathedral and Holyoke Catholic, but way outside of both of them. A different model of governance will also be implemented at Pope Francis. The school will be as close to self-governing as a school which is under the authority of the bishop would be. An analogy would be an order school, a school of a religious institute like the Zaverian Brothers. The school will be incorporated with the bishop as the single member of the corporation. A board of directors will govern the school and it will do so in collaboration with a chief executive officer who will be known as the head of school. Peter Bruno heads the search committee for the new head of school. Ten people have been initially selected as candidates. The interview process has begun with the goal to finalize a candidate by mid-May. In addition to having high academic standards, the head of school will take on dual roles as chief fundraiser and spiritual leader. We need someone who primarily can inspire the students who will be in that school, someone with whom the students identify and respect and love. This person has to have significant experience as a business person, being able to run an enterprise. We know that the person has to have a deep spiritual life. So the head of school is going to be a very, very key person. Tortolot said the selection process for the Pope Francis School Board is in its initial phase. Up to 21 people may be chosen. TAC member Pat Markey is a cathedral alum whose oldest son is a senior at cathedral. Another son is in the eighth grade at St. Michael's Academy. Markey said the process thus far has been very thorough. I'm hopeful uh, that this is going to be done right uh, and it's not the seat of the pants. That's why this last year of planning has been so important. To, uh, to kind of anticipate everything so that this really is a state-of-the-art high school with state-of-the-art academics that's going to produce uh, graduates who'll go on to great schools. This past winter, sports teams from both schools competed together for the first time under the Pope Francis banner. It made an impression on Markey's youngest. He and all his friends were ecstatic when they saw the logo for the Pope Francis Cardinals and couldn't wait to see that on their sports jerseys. Currently, there is little activity at the Wendover Road site, but that will soon change. At a meeting held April 13th at St. Michael's Academy, the site design plans for Pope Francis were openly discussed with members of the East Forest Park Civic Association. Nearly 60 people heard Gagliarducci and other key members of the Pope Francis team lay out the details of what neighbors can expect to take place at the site in a not-so-distant future. Talks centered around the athletic fields. Because of a relatively small building footprint, the new school will feature individual softball and baseball diamonds. Football and soccer will share the lighted marquee field. 
An adjacent practice field will be surrounded by a six-lane track and separate sprint lane. Pope Francis will not be a traditional high school. No more long hallways, but lots of common open space to work and relax. Paul Vachika, representing CBT Architects, said an important design element are the heritage walls, which will be displayed in the main lobby. There's a lot of archival information that we'd like to bring uh, into the building. Um, we do want this continuum of students, both the Holyoke Catholic students, the alumni, the cathedral students and their alumni, and then ultimately they're going to form this new history, which is Pope Francis. There could be three-dimensional pieces, there's two-dimensional photographs. According to David Owen, the owner's manager for Pope Francis High School, the building design is nearly complete. Fontaine Brothers, the construction manager at risk, will prepare an estimate for approval by the building committee by May 5th. Construction documents will be completed by the end of July. Fontaine will then take the, uh, the project and what's called shop it out to subcontractors. And we expect to start construction sometime late September, early October. In four months, Holyoke Catholic and Cathedral will all be united here in this one building on Springfield Street in Chicopee. Somehow, some way, everything from both schools will fit. But moving things from Wilbraham here will be no small task. Bishop Rosansky is even letting students out a week earlier this year to help speed up the process. Ellen DeJura has the unenviable job of moving all the inventory at Cathedral. Computers, smart boards, cabinets, everything from A to Z to the new Pope Francis. We are deciding what things we're going to keep, what things we're going to sell, and what things we just might throw away. At Cathedral, hundreds of items collected over the years are being stored in room four. We have tremendous amount of things like trophies, uh, that there may be people from athletic teams that go back 20, 30, 40, 50 years that might be interested in, in buying that trophy or giving a donation, per se. The sports legacies of both schools will be preserved at Pope Francis, with the trophy cases honoring all the team and individual achievements. But there's more than just sports memorabilia. Cathedral used to have a band, a marching band, and a concert band, and all of that equipment is still there. So we're deciding what equipment we want to keep, for the potential of a f maybe starting a band in the future. We have found upwards to maybe seven to eight, three or four cabinet files of sheet music. So we're not gonna shred that, we're gonna try to sell it. We're gonna keep what we think might be useful for us and sell the rest. Stained glass windows, statues, and other items like mosaics will also be incorporated into the new building. Gagliarducci said many items may be available to purchase at a future auction. The proceeds will go toward future student programs or a scholarship fund. Also announced recently is a new program of studies for the 2016-17 school year, which will foster academic excellence and challenge students to grow spiritually and intellectually. Something that has impressed me and that has been the um, spirit and cooperation. There's just an awful lot of people working to make this happen. We've started basically from scratch and we're building from the ground up and it's been an amazing year so far. As Pope Francis High School continues to evolve, one constant remains. The school motto which was adopted early on. One mission, one community, one in Christ. For Real to Real, I'm Steve Kiltonic. And to facilitate the merger and consolidation in Chicopee, both Cathedral and Holyoke Catholic will end their academic years about a week earlier this June. And you can find the latest developments and information on Pope Francis High School through a link on our website at iobserve.org.